Welcome to the Porn Reboot Podcast, where you get practical tips to gaining control over your porn or sex addiction. We help ambitious men end their out-of-control sexual behavior with pornography, sex, and masturbation so that you can maximize your life, perform at your potential, and remain in control in the driver's seat, which is where you have to be in order to gain or maintain the success you want in life. I'm your host, JK Amazie, Certified Sex and Porn Addiction Recovery Coach. Welcome to the episode. This episode might come as a surprise to some of the listeners of this podcast, but this is actually aimed at women, specifically the partners of porn addicts. It's come to my attention that there are quite a few women who actually listen to the Porn Reboot podcast, and I've never addressed them directly. So today I'm going to be talking about what to do if you know or you found out that your partner has a problem with pornography and what you can do about it. Now, this is going to be very helpful to the brothers who are listening to this. So I highly recommend that you listen because you might learn a thing or two. So basically, I I work with men who struggle with out of control sexual behavior, specifically pornography and masturbation. That's my area of expertise. And from the beginning, from once I started doing this, I had women reaching out to me incredibly hurt after discovering that their boyfriend or their husband had a porn addiction. And these women, they feel terrible. They feel betrayed. Their sense of certainty in the relationship is basically devastated. What's interesting is that women often say something along the lines of, you know what, everything else is awesome in our relationship or, you know, JK, he's a really good man. Now, as a man who's been that man, I'll say that while this is true, he's still a man who's struggling with an addiction. And that addiction is destroying you, it's destroying him, and it's destroying your relationship with him. See, when we care for someone, we naturally feel this need to justify their behavior. That's normal. But it's that very justification that keeps us in this dysfunctional cycle. And we keep getting hurt over and over again. And porn addiction, like any other addiction, it affects not just the porn addict, but everyone else in their life. So today we're going to talk about some of the ways that having a partner with a porn addiction has affected you and your relationship. Again, this is directed to the ladies. So after that we're going to talk about a couple of ways that you can handle this. So some of the ways that it has impacted you are, first of all, sex in your relationship has disappeared or it has reduced in quality. When you have sex, there is either no connection or he doesn't seem present at all. And you usually end up wondering if you're maybe doing something wrong sexually or maybe if you're physically attractive enough. Maybe you think some body part of yours is not a certain shape or size. Maybe you think you're not adventurous or enthusiastic enough that the list goes on. The next is your partner starts spending a lot more time online. So he's spending a lot more time online alone. Maybe you're off to bed and he chose to isolate himself to quote unquote, do more work or something else he's doing online. And you've noticed that it's become habitual. So this can feel bad, especially when you begin to feel that perhaps he's maybe choosing the internet or something on the internet over you. Next is you begin to notice that your partner is a lot more judgmental. See, guys who are addicted to pornography have a tendency to objectify their partners and often become very critical of different aspects of their partner's life. So your man might become critical of your physique, your lifestyle, many other things which they previously had never shown any interest in. So you're shocked. You're like, yo, when did you even care about these things? This is rough, right? It can make you feel pretty bad about yourself. Sometimes you feel that no matter what you do, you're just never good enough for him. And it's true because he's set absolutely unrealistic standards for you thanks to pornography. So this, you know, this treatment can take a heavy toll on your self-esteem. The next sign is that your, your partner has developed new sexual interests. So suddenly he's become rougher in bed or he's begun to show interest in engaging in sexual acts or sexual behavior that he had previously showed no interest in, like just out of the blue. Now, some of these things might be acts which you're not comfortable with or acts that you just straight up have no interest in. 
Another one is that your partner begins to become a lot more private and secretive. So he starts changing, maybe changing the password on his device. He never leaves his devices around you unsecured. You might also start observing inconsistencies in the stories he tells you. And maybe when you call him out on certain things, you feel that he perhaps acts a little bit overly defensive about them. The next sign is that your partner has become a little bit more detached or cold. So you feel that he's a lot more distant. It becomes obvious that the connection is just no longer there. And this can be difficult because he won't acknowledge it directly or he's going to blame something else for his emotional unavailability. Sometimes when you reach out to him, he's going to flip it on you and like accuse you of being overly emotional or needy or whatever. So let's assume that you're pretty sure that your partner has a problem with pornography. You've listened to this and they're like, yep, 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 yep. It's pretty much a porn addiction. So what do you do next? Well, there's good news and there is bad news. The bad news is that you cannot make anyone stop their addiction or quote unquote overcome it. And also you run the risk of trying to help them and then you just end up failing over and over again. And I see women doing this all the time where it becomes this unhealthy codependent relationship. You are not a man's mother. You really aren't. The good news is that nothing is wrong with you. The burden is not on you to fix your partner's issue. You have to set very clear boundaries for yourself to stop you from going all in on this crazy quest. Like I said, it happens quite often to save your partner. You don't have to put up with anything your partner says or does. And what this does is that it actually protects you from hurting yourself too much. And it also helps you stay level-headed as you saw through this situation. So I'll just explain how the cycle works when your husband or your boyfriend, the man that you are in a committed relationship with is addicted to pornography, okay? So typically what happens is that you find out that he's keeping secrets related to his porn use from you. You confront him. He reacts by blaming you, blaming something else. He becomes defensive. He becomes angry and he makes you the cause of the problem. Next, what happens is that you usually begin to work through it, and he does one of two things. So he either apologizes for his behavior, he tells you that he really wants to quit, or he does what I call, he wears his armor, he puts on his armor, he shuts down, right? Doesn't communicate with you. And he lets you know that you have no obligation to put up with his behavior. Basically, he tells you that if you don't like it, you can hit the road. Now, that second reaction is usually <laughs> manipulative because... It causes you, the partner, to feel more responsible, start thinking about, okay, well, I actually really care for him and I, and I want to be supportive, right? The next thing is that there's this short period where your relationship seems normal again. This is usually where he's going through what we call in the porn reboot system, the dormant stage of his addiction cycle, right? Sometimes the relationship might even feel better because for some reason he has managed to control the behavior, maybe through willpower, maybe through some program or something or the other, or maybe just the drama that you guys went through, he doesn't want to deal with it. So he actually cares and then he relapses. He watches porn again and guess what? Everything starts again from square one. Now. I've seen couples go through this cycle dozens and dozens of times. And what happens is that it's going to leave you guys emotionally exhausted, especially you, the lady. You're going to be emotionally exhausted, traumatized, and eventually emotionally devastated by the repeated betrayals because that's what you're going to eventually start seeing them as because you're so invested in this process. Now, if this sounds familiar to you, Here's my recommendation, a very simple recommendation because this is just the podcast episode. My recommendation is for you to sit down with your partner and try and identify this cycle. So talk about it, bring it into the light, and accept that this cycle is very detrimental to your relationship. And after that, set boundaries for your relationship. Now, if you haven't been focusing on yourself during the relationship and it's always been about the both of you, like you guys always do things together, whatever the case may be, guess what? Now's the time to work on yourself. And this is very important because you have to build up, you have to reinforce your self-esteem and your self-confidence. This is a problem that your partner, the man, is going through, not you. It's just something that you can be supportive in, 
but you have no obligation. You don't need to be all up in his life. You don't need to be his accountability partner. You don't need to treat him like a little boy. You don't need to police him. Spend more time with your friends. Join classes you enjoy. Read uplifting material. De-stress. Strengthen yourself. And if you feel that the pain is too much and you feel that you're experiencing or reliving some trauma or betrayal, then reach out to a professional. You can also reach out to us. We do not, at this point in time, help partners, but we do partner with some really amazing therapists and groups that help the partners of the men who are in the porn reboot system. So once you do this, once you start taking care of yourself and you start seeking help because you need your own help, you'll be better able to support your partner when you feel really happier and more confident with yourself. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Porn Reboot Podcast. I'll speak to you later on in the week. If you found this episode helpful, here are four ways I can help you with your out of control sexual behavior for free. The first way is to grab a free copy of my book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men at elevatedrecovery.org or visit the link in the description below this episode. The second way is if you're not sure where to start, but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, if you'd like to spend time with like-minded professionals and business owners who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, The Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's a link to join in the description below this episode. The third way is if you need help right now because you have a burning issue, your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally or emotionally, you're about to lose your relationship, you want to live up to your potential, be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt and underachieving, then click on the link in the description below this episode that says free coaching call. And the fourth way is to leave us a five-star review if you enjoy this podcast so that we can reach more men who are struggling in silence and bring back the lessons we learn from coaching them to freedom. 